might have noticed something different about me if you're a regular on this channel. I have hair. I have long hair. And yes, I got tape and extensions, and it's been so much fun so far. Really fucking awesome. Yeah, it's just been really fun, so I wanted to make um, a, a quick video kind of explaining what it's like to have tape and extensions for anyone who's interested in getting them. I got my extensions from Bombay Hair Company and they are the 22 inch ash blonde and I did a, an ombre by myself so I made my hair this darker color and then faded it into this light ash blonde which is the color of the actual extension. So the first thing I want to say about them is that they are expensive. I paid $130 for one pack, which you're like, oh, okay, that's not bad, it's real human hair, but then you read the fine print and you're like, oh, I need two packs. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Or anyway. So when you get them, they're gonna be really long. And I got mine and they were like to my waist and they're completely straight. So another thing you have to know is that you're going to have to cut them. And I did mine all by myself and I would not recommend it. Go to a salon, get them installed properly. Because some of my wefts are like a little bit messed up back there. But you know, I'm really cheap and sometimes I don't care. And I never get anyone to do my hair. I always cut it myself. It may not always look the best, but I'm like, hey, I saved money. Tape and extensions can be hard to blend if you don't go to a hairdresser and let them do it. Let me tell you, um, they're very straight, and if you have a lot of layers and short hair, and you put them in, it's just going to look like you have these straight long pieces hanging out of short hair. So you have to get them blended properly, which I did not, but I'm okay with it. I just like to keep a lot of texture in my hair, so... Hopefully you can't see where my shorter hair is, but it's okay to me if you see some pieces sometimes. Like these little pieces. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Another thing to know is that you can't run your hands through your hair anymore, and neither can um, a love interest of yours because you have all these little pieces of tape stuck in here, so. I'm trying to look. So here, I'll show you like one weft. So this is one that I cut down myself. And you can see the tape, it's an adhesive piece of tape. And then you take that off and stick it on the hair and then you sandwich another piece on top of that. So then you have your thing that's completely attached to your hair and they're attached pretty tightly. So you don't really have to worry about them. Oh yeah, ugh. Oh. Oh. Let me just, let me just adjust. This is your new way of touching your hair. Your new way of touching your hair is just smooth, smooth and flip. Similarly, if you can't run your hands through your hair really, imagine trying to wash this shit. It's hard. You kind of like gotta scrub in between them and uh, it feels really heavy because you're not used to having this much hair. So when I washed my hair the first few times, I kind of like held my hair in a ponytail too while I was rinsing because it feels so heavy, you're afraid that like your tapes are going to start slipping out. They never happened to me yet, it hasn't happened to me yet, but you get like anxiety of like, okay, I gotta hold this hair, I gotta hold this hair. Another thing about having all this crap on your head is that it gets itchy. like scratch the shit out of your head because you have all these little pieces of tape stuck in there and you kind of gotta like scratch in and around each uh, separate thing because you don't want to mess them up you don't want them to like somehow get messed up and fall out another thing that comes along with having tape and extensions is anxiety I'm always nervous that my tapes are showing or that uh, they're gonna fall out so I'm always like is still in? Okay. That one's still there? Okay. That one's still there? Okay. Yeah. But are my tape showing? Okay. Are my tape showing? Okay. Smooth it. Make sure the tapes aren't showing. Make sure the tapes aren't showing. Okay. Is it blended? 
Is it blended in? But is it blended? Okay, does it look like my hair? Does it look like my hair? Can you, can everyone tell it's fake? Shit. Okay, I'm definitely bringing a hat. Let me, I gotta, I'm gonna go find a hat. Let me get a hat. No, ponytail, pony, we'll do a ponytail. We'll do a ponytail and it won't move and it'll be good. The wind, the wind can't mess it up. Yeah, ponytail, ponytail it is. So you're gonna wanna constantly play with your hair cause it's just so long and you're not used to having it. And everything feels sexier. Like you just, you just feel like a Barbie. You're like, oh hey. Oh. Yeah? Even a ponytail feels sexy. Cause you just put it back and your hair's so long. And you're just like, oh <laughs> yeah, okay. And you walk around like swinging your hair. I whip my hair back and forth. Uh -huh. Say goodbye to your favorite top knots or high ponytails because it feels weird trying to do that. It just feels weird. The tape feels like it's tugging on your hair. Okay. Okay, this is weird. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I can't, like... We're gonna, we're gonna start showing. Yeah. It's not good. Alright guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you want to know more about my uh, tape and extensions or you have any questions for me, please leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, remember, if you want to see anything else about my hair, because it's new and, you know, exciting, and maybe you're interested in tapings, just leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Alright, thanks for tuning in and I want you to remember, don't just make up your face. Make up your mind too, ladies. See you next time. Bye-bye.